Behind the vulture funds exists a complex framework of concentrated and speculative interests that go against sovereign countries who seek economic independence. Both on the part of the executive power in the White House and in the legislature and the judiciary. The vulture funds have a dominant and concentrated position worldwide, with assets in mining, oil and technology companies, just to name a few. Vulture funds are anonymous but represent specific capital, shall we say highly concentrated capital? Although not as public as Google or such enterprises, but they move in the fields of high finance. What they do is demonize Argentina through financing, through the American Task Force website, where they openly say that Argentina's economy is headed for disaster. They broadcast the opinion of people such as former economy minister Domingo Cavallo. They publicize energy specialists who say that they will not leave the business of vacuum water shale gas reservoir to Russia nor China. The framework below the vultures are American financial interests, who want to continue with financial speculation and with NATO military expansionism, which they have unfolded throughout Eurasia and the Malvinas Islands, also supported by the English military budget. The vulture fund's mode of action, buying cheap bonds from nations close to defaulting on debt, and then demanding payback of a larger amount than the purchasing price is functional to US foreign policy, which seeks to derail sovereign countries who seek economic independence. From Buenos Aires, Lionel Poblete Coduti, Telesur.